Hello, Taurus viewers. Sorry I've been away for a while, but I am back now, and I'm also still doing private readings, so if you'd like a private reading, just send me an email. My email is it's dragonenchantress at awol.com. If you need to see the spelling of it, it's right below in the description box. And if this resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. That helps me uh, get promoted by YouTube, getting back in the algorithm, so I really appreciate that. And let's get right into it. So whatever the cards want to tell you, and I'll be doing, I'm going to be back to doing the Zodiac reading, the Zodiac based readings a couple times a month, but I'm also going to be doing a random like third party, a twin flame, soulmate reading, psychic development, just whatever comes through, whatever I end up channeling. Sometimes I end up getting messages in, in dreams, or I just feel guided to just share a random message. So it's kind of just whatever comes through. King of Cups. Okay, so right off the bat, somebody has two choices. You have a choice between a King of Cups and a King of Wands, because that that's very clear to me. Um, with the Seven of Cups here, that's that's about it's like it's like illusion. It's it's making choices. This could be a water sign. This could be a fire sign, but not necessarily. But Cups are connected to water. Wands are connected to fire in general. With the King of Cups, I feel like that's somebody who is mature. It's somebody who is emotional. They're open. King of Wands, it's, they're very passionate. They're very charming. They're very charismatic. We've got this, got this energy right here. We have this, uh, these lions in the back. So there could be some kind of like Leo energy in this as well. We have the world. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Sorry, just give me one minute. I primarily channel, so let me just, I'm going to pull the cards and I'm just going to look at them and see what I feel from them. I feel like you're trying to juggle two different people or you're trying to juggle two different. It could be ways of being. It could be like somebody's like it's like waiting for this past person to come back while also trying to manifest somebody new. Like these might not actually be people that are in your life. It might just be representative of like energies. You know what I mean? Like maybe this is like an ex who's not currently with you. But it's like you kind of are still holding on and to some degree. Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, the Six of Swords. I feel like you're also in this very um, almost playful kind of sexy, like free-spirited. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Nine of Cups energy. It's, it's almost like this playful kind of sexy, like free-spirited energy. I'm channeling the image more than anything. I'm not drawn to the actual definition of the card in this case. I'm just looking at her energy. I'm looking how she has just like frog and it's like she's not noticing him. She's, she's in this, she's looking away. She's in this seductive power. She's, you know, male or female. It's like your you're manifesting people. You're manifesting true love. You're in your power. You're you're not paying attention to these frogs anymore. You're you're ending that cycle. With the hierophant here, I in the six of swords right right after it, I feel like you're leaving behind old traditions. You're leaving behind old ways of thinking that probably kept you trapped. You're leaving behind just just old patterns, um, being just whatever holds you back. You know, because the hierophant, it's. It could be graduating from, from school or graduating from a job and going to the next level. But the Hierophant also just represents traditions. It's it's society. It's doing things a certain way. And I feel like you're saying no to that. I feel like you're moving forward from that energy. You're basically breaking free and you're being your, your true self, your true unapologetic self. You're finding yourself. You're not... You're not getting stuck by uh, society's standards of, of who you should be, of what you should do, of what your career should look like. You're going down your own path. I think for a lot of you, that's causing a lot of anxiety as, as well. Nine of Swords, the Tower. What, what else do we want to say about that? 
Sorry about that. Let me see here. Got Nine of Swords in the Tower, Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're having to leave something behind to really step into your power as the Queen of Wands. I almost feel like, let me ask the pendulum here. Is the King of Cups a past person? Okay. Is the King of Wands a new person? I'm getting a maybe leaning towards a yes for the King of Wands being the new per a new person. So for some of you, it could be somebody from the past coming back around in a brand new energy. Like for some of you, it might be this, you know, not for most of you, but for some of you, this could actually be the same person. I feel like this could be somebody that just wasn't giving you enough time and energy in the past and you sort of just move forward. You just realized you didn't you didn't want that anymore. You wanted something new. And so now this person is coming back in a more passionate energy with the King of Wands. It, it's like it's still them, but they're working on these different aspects of themselves. So they're coming back to you in this new energy with a love offer. But for the majority of you, I feel like this is probably an old person you're leaving behind. And it might not just be one person. It could just be a whole... I'm getting the energy for the collective that a lot of people are just leaving behind old patterns, old, um, old karmic cycles, you know, like they're, it's like your type is changing, like the people that you resonate with, that's changing, you're not resonating with the same type of people anymore, you're manifesting a different type of person, you know, you're, you're kind of transitioning to this fire energy, we have knight of wands, queen of wands, lots of wand energy here. But, but yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, it's like you're, you're letting go of this past person because you do feel like they're holding you back from manifesting somebody new. It might just be like a thought pattern that you have. Maybe this person made you feel like you weren't good enough or they just, they, they weren't willing to invest enough into you, you know, and and for some, like I said, I feel like this could be like a series of relationships that you had where it was just one-sided or you just, you weren't getting what you needed. You might have even met a lot of people where it's like you, something was just missing. It's not that there was anything wrong with them. It's not that they were horrible people necessarily, but they didn't have that same spark that you had. You know, the King of Cups can be a little manipulative, but overall, he's not really a bad person. I mean, he is, he is emotional. He is you know, overall, he's pretty mature, but it's, it's almost like you're looking for somebody who's more in that fiery energy with the King of Wands. It's like you want somebody who has that same passion for life that you have. You want somebody who's, you know, outspoken and strong and adventurous. And, you know, maybe maybe you want to travel and it's like you want someone that wants to travel with you. You want someone who understands your sense of humor. You know, there's a lot of things about you that are very unique. And it's like these people from the past, it's like they weren't necessarily bad, but it's, it's like there was just incompatibilities there and they didn't fully understand you. They didn't fully um, appreciate you. It's, it's almost like you were kind of too much for them because you were in that fiery energy and they weren't really enough for you. Like you felt like they couldn't really keep your interest, you know? It's like you kind of just felt like there was just something missing there. Like you you had to basically tone it down around them. You had to kind of, you know, limit yourself around them. You couldn't really speak your truth and be yourself around them. And and so I think a lot of you are leaving, um, maybe leaving a specific person behind because you know that this person is, is attached to this pattern that you've had with these people that just don't, it, it's almost like a throat chakra block where it's like you just can't, it's like you're clearing your throat chakra now. It's like you feel like you just couldn't fully be yourself with these people. You couldn't fully express yourself. And now you're committing to yourself. You're committing to to being able to express yourself and to, to resonating with people that, you know, are going to let you be who you are. It's like you're not going to be too much for them. You're not going to be too outspoken for them. You're not going to be too adventurous for them. You're, you know what I mean? Like you want someone that's going to resonate with that passionate, fiery energy. Um, 
And, and yeah, it, it's, it's like, you're just, you're leaving that behind because you realize that that's been blocking you. You realize that that's been kind of maybe like a thought pattern that's connected to one person or to a whole, you know, maybe like you had like a usual type that you kept going for, like a, a karmic pattern you kept repeating again and again. And it's like, now you're, you're looking at it differently. You're very introspective right now. And you're looking at this and you're like, wait, this, this thought pattern, um, it could, it could be, I feel like it's something connected to your th throat chakra, like somebody telling you you're too much or you're, you're, you need to tone it down or just, just feeling like you have to, you know, maybe you, it, it could even be like a father or mother figure or just somebody that basically made you feel like you, you know, you, you had to be careful not to express certain things, you know, it, it's somebody that convinced you not to be honest, not to be yourself. But anyway, you're recognizing this pattern now, you're introspective. So you're leaving this behind and you're manifesting this new person. I feel like this new person is actually in your energy field. I'm not sure if you're aware of it yet, though. I feel like you're just kind of visualizing what that would look like. Like you, you've seen, you finally learned what you don't want. So now you're stepping back and you're, you're visualizing what it would be like to be with somebody that matches your energy that's on that same frequency. And I feel like you're becoming the queen of wands to match, you know, you want the king of wands. So you're becoming the queen of wands. You're, you're tuning into your, your fiery energy to your fire side and, um, you know, leaving behind old traditions, old ways of thinking, old ways of being. Some of you are going through like a spiritual awakening where it's, it's like you're just you're really changing. You're really becoming the person that you want to be. Um, Nine of swords in the tower for some of you, there is. Nine of swords can almost be like negative thinking, bringing about negative results. It's like this person has so much anxiety and so much fear that they might like sabotage themselves. But I honestly feel like there might be like an ending coming up here, but it's something that's meant to end with the tower. That's kind of like a sudden overnight change. So that could be um, if, if you're with this person, it might just be that you break up with this person and you're like, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to have to hide who I am anymore. I don't want to have to hold back anymore. Or you might be leaving an old job. You might just be like, you know what? I don't want to, I, I don't want to be, you're in some kind of stagnant situation, be it a relationship, a job, um, a living situation where you might have roommates, where you just feel like you can't really just relax and, and be open. Um, so it's like, there is a lot of anxiety with this that comes with starting this new life because you know that there's all these changes that have to be made. It's like you're kind of just ripping off the blindfold and so you're seeing, you know, you're, you're seeing things clearly. You're looking around you and you're realizing where you've been blocked. Um, and now that you're aware of these blocks, you're addressing them with the nine of, with the, you know, nine of swords in the tower. It's like they're causing anxiety. You're upset about them in a lot of ways because you're like, wow, like I didn't realize this, you know, this, it's like you're having these epiphanies, you know, and it's like, wow, I didn't realize this was, you know, what was holding me back in the tower moment. It, it's like very, very quick change. But honestly, I feel like it's a good thing. Knight of wands. It's like someone that it's like moving quickly. You're moving quickly to being the queen of wands, which is the divine counterpart for the king of wands. So all of these changes are are putting you, are making you the person that you want to be. And that person is just a vibrational match for the, for this new person that you're manifesting. Yeah. Death is about transformation. A lot of you are going into hermit mode with death and the hermit here. It, it, it's like you're, you're in this introspective energy and you're looking at what needs to end. You're not in denial about it anymore. You're, you know, old jobs, relationships, friendships, whatever it might be. You're shining this light on it. It's all these things that have been building up for months or even for years for some of you. It could be like all these, you know, it, it's it's not just friendships and relationships, but on a deeper level too. It's also um, ways of thinking, you know, childhood traumas that have, have um, maybe planted seeds of, you know, certain beliefs that you have in your mind. It's like you're looking at all these things and you're like, okay, what needs to end? What do I need to cut out of my life in order to have this transformation and, and be the person I want to be and manifest my divine counterpart? You know, so it's really a good energy. You're not, some of you probably feel lost right now because you're like, where do I go next? Like, what is this? Because you're kind of in limbo. It, it's not a bad thing. 
you're just kind of in that in between the in between space right now it's like you're leaving your old life behind so you're kind of right here in the middle right now where you're building your new life you know your are you know new love maybe a new home new career um some of you are kind of starting from scratch in a lot of ways so it's, it's not i mean it's, it's kind of scary and anxiety inducing right now just because it almost feels empty you're like well where what happens next like where am i going next um but I feel like you are being divinely guided. I feel like you are being led and you're just being encouraged to, you know, to read, to, uh, you know, read books, pursue your hobbies, pursue your passions, pursue, you know, find out, figure out what your calling is, figure out what you really feel drawn to do. Um, what is that quote? It's, it's, uh, Chains, I, I forget what the exact quote is, but it's something along the lines of change comes not from destroying the old, but from building the new. It's, it's like when you end these old patterns or old relationships or old, you know, old habits, old, uh, old, old jobs, whatever it might be, it could be probably multiple things. You're going through such a major life transformation. It's probably more than one area of your life. But it, it's like when you end those things, you have to have an energy to replace them. It's like you can't just end all your friendships and then just be completely alone because then it's like that loneliness is going to creep up and you're going to end up reaching back out to toxic people most likely. So it, it's, it's kind of like like end the toxic friendships, but then, you know, um, maybe make like a like a Bumble account or something to make new friends or maybe go... Um, if you like playing like D and D or something, like find like a you know a group of people that are playing that, or if you like, uh, like sewing, or if you like a uh, like martial arts or dance or whatever, it's like go pursue those hobbies, like go do those things. Put yourself in, you know, don't don't just like be at home all the time, like not putting yourself in in an environment where you can meet people. You know what I mean? It's like end the old toxic friendships or relationships. But um, and heal from those, of course, it's like you got to take time to mourn. I'm not saying just to like instantly replace people, but I'm just saying like find that balance and, you know, put yourself in in healthy environments, put yourselves in good environments where you can meet like minded people, where you can meet people that are going to be in that passionate, free spirited energy and kind of match your energy, people that are going to be healthy for you. Um, or if you're ending old patterns, old ways of thinking, it's like, okay, what's, what, what are you replacing it with? You know what I mean? Like you have to, you have to kind of build that foundation. And if, if you're by yourself, I mean, you can also put a lot of energy just into hobbies and just pursuits and just, you know, things that make you happy. Um, but yeah, I think that's, you know, you're going to be coming out of that empty space and, and doing what we just talked about. You're just, it's death and transformation right now. You're just kind of in that in between, in that hermit mode, you know, looking at your life in, in the blindfolds off and you're just seeing what needs to change and you're making those changes. And I feel like after you make those changes, after you go through that transformation, you're, um, you become the queen of wands and then you manifest your king of wands. Love's, love comes after this transformation is basically what I'm getting. Yeah, you have clarity. You have clarity and now you're in this powerful manifesting energy. You know, you're manifesting what you want. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. It's You're moving forward and you're balancing yourself too. Six of Pentacles, it's it's mutual giving and receiving. It's It's balanced energy. So... You know, you have a lot of, of good energy coming your way. Just keep um keep developing your intuition, keep, you know, pursuing your hobbies and your passions, be your true self, just keep moving forward towards the things that you want to do, you know. And life should be fun. I'm getting that message too. It's like it shouldn't be I'm not saying heal healing is is, you know, all roses and daisies, but it it shouldn't feel like stressful work just all the time you know what I mean it's like it's 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 good to just have fun I feel like that's healing too like if you just go out in nature and you're just playing in the water um or you're going camping like it, it's like that's that's healing but it's like you're you're having fun at the same time it's like that peaceful balanced kind of grounded energy you know and it, it's like you're healing but it doesn't feel like a chore it's just it's letting the energy flow naturally um, anyway, like I said, if you'd like a private reading, just email me and thank you guys for watching.